What's up, Exiles? Willy Wonka here, and uh, we're getting nerfed. What are we gonna do? Uh, it's not a big nerf. Uh, it's just uh, a small change to our base crit chance. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go from uh, six percent to four percent. Uh, what we're gonna do, have to do is offset the 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 loss with something else. So uh, I'm at currently at thirty four percent, thirty four point seven uh, crit chance. Um, I want to get back to it after the patch. I'll probably drop down to twenty something. Um, so I could do one of two things. I could go into the the shitty crit nodes that give me like ten, I mean fifteen, like twenty, uh, maybe twenty five here and there uh, crit chance. But it will require a lot, a lot of points. So uh, what I uh, I'm probably gonna do is respec out of my mana points here, four points here. Gotta remove uh, energy shield and energy shield recovery right there because uh, I'm using righteous fire. So energy shield recovery is totally useless for me. So I just remove these, uh, keep the 40%, go across the top, hit the power charge, get the deep thoughts. Uh, this will give me the exact same amount of maximum mana, give me the exact same amount of mana regeneration, but will also get the maximum power charges. Of course, it takes a little bit more points getting across the top, but we'll uh, get those points uh, elsewhere. Also, it enables us to get Stormcast as we level up and get more points. Um, I'll remove the Chaos Resist once I get a better helmet. We're gonna need those points here, I think. Uh, we're gonna grab the Power Charge here. Um, that's about it on this side. We'll also probably get rid of one of the Dexterity points to invest elsewhere because uh, I am uh, I have a very high level uh, fork right now, so I think we can remove this by scouring the fork a little bit. We're gonna keep Inner Force even though it goes from 30% effectiveness down to 18%. Mm. We're gonna remove these two int nodes that connect us uh, through through this chain right here, and we're gonna connect through the power charges instead. So you can uh, almost see what I'm doing here already. Uh, the plan is to use ice spare like the, all the other tryhards out there and um, uh, get the crit chance above 30% again. That's that's the goal. Um, uh, up until now, I've been able to just sit in the back of the party, not even curse because we have a quad cursor. I just put the totems up and see everything just get destroyed because the crit chance is uh, kind of easy to get, but it's uh, it's not it's not that that easy. But once you hit the 30 plus uh, range, you you just kick ass. So to get back there, uh, I have to uh, get off my ass and uh, start spamming some ice bears, um, get into the line of sight of some of the mobs and uh, get into the danger um, by grabbing one point here, one point here, and one point here. Uh, I wish I could respect my banning, banning quest. GGG has said that they're gonna fix it um, very soon now in uh, one of the patches uh, coming after 11 and uh, hopefully I'll be able to grab the power charge in the quest instead of the skill point then because uh, four power charges is 200% increased crit chance which is a lot. Um, I mentioned the inner force is getting uh, reduced to 18% total, uh, all three nodes together, and uh, elemental adaptation is going from 5% down to 2%. Uh, this will make us take more damage um, from righteous fire, and it's going to be harder to sustain. I think normal maps will be totally fine, but I want to do half regen, I want to do uh, vulnerability with the righteous fire up, and um, with the more with with the more damage coming in, I'll probably probably have to go down here and grab Troll's Blood to offset the damage. Also, we can pick up Diamond Skin. To get the points to do this, I'll remove the power Enduring Charge, get the Shield Nodes out of here. Um, is there anything else? Not really. I'm getting a level up very soon. I'm gonna do it today. Um, those are the changes. Get the in get the Power Charges, get the, um, get the Troll's Blood if necessary, and that should uh, fix fix the nerfs. And uh, if I if I upgrade my wand, get some more crit chance, I uh, I think we'll be right back where we started. So we got some cool other changes coming up. We got the we got the loot options uh, where you get the permanent allocation with the uh, valuable items like rare and blue. Uh, we're also getting the white maps allocated to map maker. That's really nice. Uh, but there's uh, like a slight issue here that I really dislike, and I'm really disappointed in GGG for not noticing this. Um, it's the fact that blue and rare items, I mean, uh, maps are allocated to a random player in the party, not directly to the map maker. So that's really stupid because 71, 72 and up maps are really valuable. I saw a 72 for 78 chaos. I saw a level 73 map for 13 to 15 chaos. Uh, 77 map, uh, oh, it's like three to five exalts if you're lucky. Um, so 
this is uh, really depressing because I, I was looking forward to being able to do maps with a public party, like booting up a crematorium with minus max double boss and just seeing people dying all around me. That would be, that would be so much fun. Uh, but I can only do this now at the risk of losing maps, um, which I won't do. And with the change to unit maps and uh, item rarity affecting maps, uh, we see a lot of rare and blue maps drop. So that's a little bit sad. Please GGG if you're listening. Fix this in uh, patch 11.1, .1. please, please, please. Uh, we got some other changes that are kind of nice. Um, the fusing and jeweler thing is coming up where you can uh, put armor scraps and blacksmith whetstones on an item. And if you use a jeweler or a, or, or a fusing, it will remove all the quality and increase the chances of getting a six socket or a six link, which is really nice, uh, making it a little bit more reliable getting what you want because right now, uh, we've seen cases where people are using several thousand fusings, uh, getting a six link. Um, yeah, so uh, look forward to that. Um, there are some more minor changes that I like, uh, that I personally like. Uh, for example, the health globe. Right now, if you have, let's say, CI, it's just health one HP, and you have a little bit of ES on the corner. And if you're a new player, it's really hard to for your brain to register if your life is going down and you're dying because your HP is always at 100%. So right now, if your CI, for example, or your ES is a larger percent of your EHP, or effective H, uh, uh, health pool or uh, health points, um, it will now engulf a lot of it. So you can clearly see that you're dying. So that's really nice, not just for me, but for everyone else who are not used to it. Uh, a molten Shell will now work with a totem uh, correctly, so we're going to see some lulz worthy Molten Shell builds. I uh, can't wait for that. Um, we get some desync work coming up. Uh, that's nice for melee, I think, uh, I guess, because it's not really affecting me. Um, we got the slash remaining command. That's probably one of my like top changes that I like, because when you're doing an instance, uh, you're uh, not sure if... Uh, there are any mobs left and when you're doing let's say a high level map you want to turn off turn over every single stone uh, you want to open every chest you want to kill every mob so you make sure that you get all the maps that are available and uh, slash remaining is going to be helping out with that uh, cre crematorium is being balanced or not balanced but the entrance is being moved so uh, if you're the last pe person running in x infinite uh, you're not going to die so that's really nice uh, I think those are the the changes that I like and that's not noteworthy. Um, noteworthy. Um, personally, I'm not gonna play the leagues. I think the leagues are cool. Like the onslaught seems a lot of seems like a lot of fun because it's like hardcore, just a little bit harder with the fleeting mod on it, where the mobs cast, move, and uh, uh, attack faster. Uh, so I would love to do that to make a magic uh, fine character and make a lot of money. That's what I would do at least grind the currencies. Mm, Anarchy League is cool uh, with the the rogue exiles, but I have a fear it's going to be a little bit gimmicky where, uh, the, oh no, here comes the rogue exile again. Guess we'll kill them, but we'll see if it's uh, fun. I'll definitely be joining, uh, uh, watching my friends play it uh, when they're streaming, for example. So I'm, uh, I'm going to push for top 10 now with my character. That's the goal uh, I uh, hit. Page one on the ladder a uh, day or two ago. So top 10, here we go. I hope you guys tune in to uh, cheer on me as I hit higher levels and I wish you luck in the new leagues. Have a lot of fun and I'll, I'll see you around.